Welcome to Tethered Thoughts with Bossa De Santos, your daily podcast where I deliver powerful God truths to fuel your success. My name is Bossa De Santos, your host, and I'm honored to journey with you towards attaining a success mindset. I lead Romans 8 19 Ministries, where we equip Christians to know who they are and what they have in Christ so they can live audacious and impactful lives. In each bite-sized episode, we'll dive into scriptures which affirm the mindsets which have propelled successful leaders, innovators, and visionaries to the heights they've attained. Join me every weekday for a quick, potent dose of eternal wisdom meets contemporary success. friends and fellow world changers and welcome again to today's episode of Tethered Thoughts with Bosse de Santos. Trust you're looking forward to a super abundant day. Today we're looking at verses 121 to 128 of Psalm 119 and the topic is I will follow your ways. That's a declaration in itself. I will follow your ways. The psalmist earnestly seeks God's protection and guidance against those who hate him. He affirms his commitment to live justly and fairly. He longs to hear God's promise of blessing, yearning for deliverance from proud oppressors and a deeper experience of God's salvation and virtuous promises. The psalmist expresses his love for God desiring to feel his tender love and gain greater understanding of his ways through revelation from his word. He calls upon God to intervene against evildoers who defy his laws, emphasizing his devotion to God's message of truth above all worldly wealth. These are the takeaways from this verse, uh, set of verses today commitment to justice and fairness. The psalmist prioritizes living a life of justice and fairness, seeking God's protection against those who oppose him. Yearning for God's blessings and salvation, he passionately desires to hear God's promise of blessing and experience deliverance from oppressors, yearning for deeper intimacy with God and a greater understanding of his promises. The psalmist values God's message of truth above material wealth, recognizing its inherent beauty and righteousness. Success is found in living a life of justice and fairness, seeking intimacy with God and prioritizing devotion to his truth above all else. Now, justice and fairness are the first two vital traits of good leadership when it comes to handling people successfully. Human nature demands fair play and people would give their best response when this is present. Successful leadership and organizations run on the central notion that 90% of humankind are good and will do good work when confidence is shown in their good intentions. So successful leadership and governance rest on these principles the psalmist is highlighting as values he gained through his love and devotion to the word of God. Now here's a declaration to make and meditate on throughout today. I declare I am committed to justice and fairness. I am blessed and delivered from oppression. I am deeply intimate with God. I understand his ways and feel his love. He intervenes for me against evil. I value his truth above all else. In him, I find true fulfillment and success. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening and taking action. I trust this episode has impacted you. Please subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Also, if you know anyone who could use these truths 
please share with them and be sure to rate us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Jesus entrusts us with the responsibility of being salt and light in the world. Both traits are nouns and verbs, who to be and what to do. Romans 8, 19 says the world is waiting for us to demonstrate God. So go out and make a difference today, even if it's just one heart at a time. May the grace of God empower you, his wisdom instruct you, and his love secure you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you and God bless. Have a successful day and see you again tomorrow.